Hey, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be talking about my NECA 30th Anniversary Jungle Extraction Dutch figure. So as you can see, this is the figure right here. And of course you know this is based on the character that uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger played in this movie right here, Predator. Which is like one of my all-time favorite films, you know. And actually I guess you could say like my third favorite uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger film. Because this is the version I have of it on uh, Blu-ray. Now, now that movie was released back in 1987 and I remember seeing it in the theaters when it was released, you know, I was like just a kid because my parents had to really see it, you know. <laughs> I do recall that very well and that's been like 30 years. Now this is actually was released like uh, uh, 19, I mean, uh, I think a couple years ago, but I'm just not actually picking up the figure itself, you know. I was kind of worried that they might actually release this like an uh, ultimate edition, that's why I was kind of hesitant about getting it at first, you know. And there's like other versions of this figure too as well. Plus they also have like the uh, the Predators too as well. You know, that's the one that I really want. I want like the Jungle Hunter, you know. I'm definitely interested in picking that one up, you know. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get into this. And as you can see, this is like the, uh, the figure inside the box. It does have like Arnold Schwarzenegger's likeness too as well. You can see like the accessories that he comes with. The background too as well. Now in the front it says uh, it has like an image of a uh, Dutch right here too, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and it says uh, Predator Jungle Extraction Dutch, because they have different versions of this Dutch figure, you know. And another thing too about it, on the side it has like an image right here, it says uh, 30th Anniversary Jungle Extraction Dutch, which you can see right there. And of course Predator up here. Then it also has like an image of the figure right here on the side, you know, of the Dutch figure and 30th anniversary, you know, the same thing on the other side. Then on the bottom it has like the creators and stuff like Randy Falk was the director and so on. I'm not going to get into all those. Now on the back you have images of the figure like too as well. And you also have like images of like the other figures in the series too as well. Like the 30th anniversary collection from NECO, you have the, the different Dutch figures that they are showing right here. And like the different Predator figures too as well. It also has an inscription too. My men are not expendable and I don't do this kind of work. And of course you remember Dutch himself spoke that in the movie, you know. Now it also says this, deep in the Central American jungle, the Predator is hunting humans for sport. Arm with its plasma caster, wrist blades, and cloaking technology, the predator methodically stalks and kills the opponents he deems worthy. The jungle hunter predator collects the skulls and spines of his victims and trophies and skins his prey, leaving the bodies hanging from the trees. When a special forces team is dispatched on a rescue mission, they soon become the predator's prey. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, yeah, that was like the description of it right there. And of course, this is based on, like I say, this movie right here. This is one of my all-time favorite films. And I guess you could say my third favorite Arnold Schwarzenegger film, too, as well, you know. <laughs> After the uh, the first two Terminator films, you know, this is definitely probably my third, like, Arnold Schwarzenegger, favorite Arnold Schwarzenegger film. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just open this up and get into it and break it out, you know. You can see this is the background that comes with the... Uh the Predator, or the Dutch figure, as you can see, it has like the vision that the Predator sees, and you know, it has that vision for the background, which is kind of cool. Like it's the Predator actually watching them, you know. I may do this like in some pictures too, as well, you know. <laughs> All right. Okay, as you can see, this is the uh, Dutch figure, and of course, Arnold Schwarzenegger played this character, like I said, in the 1987 film, real known as Predator, one of my favorite films too. <laughs> Now I forgot to mention on the box it did say that this included the M16 with the grenade launcher, pistol, machete, knife, and over 20 points of articulation. Now I did say that right here at the bottom. As you can see, Dutch is about 7 inches in height. So what I do is just touch on his accessories that he does have first. So he does come with like a uh, four accessories. He has like the uh, the um, M16 with the grenade launcher, which is this particular weapon right here, as you can see. It also has like a strap on it too. 
which I think is pretty cool. So you, as you can see, you can like probably hang it over his like shoulder or something like hanging on him. But the detail in this is amazing. I like how it looks like it's like weathered, like it's been used and stuff for a while. I think that's pretty cool. Another thing I noticed about this too, if you look closely, right there, I believe this can be actually removed. Like if you wanted to put like the rifle around Dutch, like his shoulder, I'm trying to see the camera will focus. It looks like that can be removed, you know. You can like slide that like silver metal part off, it's like on this hook, and then wrap the gun around him, you know, if you want. You can see it right there. But I'll probably just leave it on because <laughs> I don't want to break it, you know. Okay, now right there, as you can see, I have the uh, M16 assault rifle on Dutch's back. And it fits pretty good, too, I'm surprisingly, you know. Kind of a lot of them, these figures, you know, the actual, like, accessory kind of sometimes be sliding off. But it looks like this is fitting uh, pretty good, as you can see, on Dutch's back. So I think that's kind of cool. Okay, as you can see, there's the uh, M16 rifle inside of uh, Dutch's arms, like in his hands. I got it in both arms, too, as you can see. <laughs> it went in pretty good. Now, mind you, I had to use like the hair dryer to actually loosen his hands up, you know, like I to actually make it where I could put the gun in his hands, you know. I definitely recommend using like a blow dryer, you know, for like these figures, you know, like to loosen them up. Uh, and there's another shot with me just holding the uh, M16 down. So what I do now is just touch on like another accessory that comes with the uh, the figure. Now this is another accessory that he has. This is a pistol. As you can see. Very detailed. As you can see, there's the pistol in his hand <laughs> as well. Now, like I say, again, I had to actually use this right here to actually loosen the uh, the hand, you know, like to get it where I could put the gun in his hand, you know. So I definitely recommend using like a hair dryer or a blow dryer on these, you know. If you have trouble like putting like the weapons or the accessories in them, you know, it's good to use like a hair dryer or blow dryer. I even heard, like I say, hot water. I heard that that does it too as well, like boiling water, you know, but I use like the blow dryer on it. So I'm going to touch on like another accessory too that comes with the figure. But as you can see, this is the pistol in his hand. Another thing too, before I forget, like this pistol right here, you can actually put it in Dutch's like side pocket right here, like his holster, which I think is awesome. That's one of the best things to me about the figure. What you do is like open this like this, this belt thing right here that's on him. Like this belt pouch thing. Because it looks like you can actually button it back together too as well. Because you can set like the little button on it right there. But I guess you just take this like this. And just slide it in here like this. I'm going to just leave the gun like that. But it does like this can be actually buttoned down, you know. But I'm just going to leave it like that just for safety precautions. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, I have the gun like on his waist too as well. On Dutch's uh, waist. Which I think is so awesome, you know, that you can have it just sitting in there like that. That's so cool. <laughs> Another cool accessory that Dutch comes with is this actual machete. As you can see. I do recall him using this like in the movie on that one part where he, <laughs> he threw it into like, the guy and he stuck him into the wall, you know, and he said stick around. I do remember that part, you know. That was a cool sequence. The line that Arnold has said. So yeah, this is his machete. As you can see, there is a machete in Dutch's hand too as well. Now one of the things I did notice about the machete, it like it was kind of loose. You definitely can't put it like in this hand right here. You do have to put it like in this hand over here, like his right hand or left hand from your point of view, you know. So y'all yeah, was noticing that this is very loose, you know, the machete itself. Another thing too about it, I like how it has like this um this like glossy like metallic like finish to it. It looks like a real like blade, you know, like the shining in it, as you can see. I think that's awesome. You probably can really do some good photography with this if you use like the right lighting, you know. 
it looks it really looks like metallic, like a, like it's realistic, you know, not like plastic. And that's kind of cool. And of course, he also has a holster for his machete, you know, right here, as you can see, on his leg. So that's awesome. So what I'm gonna do now is put the machete like in his actual holster. Trying to be careful with it. And voila, there's a machete in the uh, Duster's like lay holster. <laughs> that's awesome. I think that's one of the best things about the feature about this this figure, you know. You can put all like this these accessories on him, you know. I think that is so awesome. That NECA did that, you know. That that's I think that's so cool, you know. You can actually have places for like the actual like accessories that he has, you know, that thing that's cool. Like other figures they have, you know. And the, and the last accessory that Dutch does have is this uh, knife, like this combat knife. And again, this is another one that kind of has that, that civil, that metallic like look, you know, it looks very realistic, especially when you shine in the light. Like the handle too. And there's no question this will go probably in the left hand or the right hand. I am noticing like these look kind of, you know, they look kind of like they're, like they're loose like, you know. And as you can see there's a knife like in his hand too as well. And this is another accessory that looked kind of like it was it's loose, you know, maybe because I use like the hair dryer, you know, I don't know, like, like it doesn't really fit like in his hand that good, and it's definitely have to be this hand, you can't put it in the other one, you know, the other one is like too big, too wide, you have to put it in this one, you know. And Dutch also has a holster for this knife too as well, as you can see right here on this, on this, this side right here. So what I'm going to do is put it in this, this, uh, this one too. And voila, as you can see, there's a knife in the holster. <laughs> so you got the knife right here, and then you got the gun right here, the pistol, and then you got the machete down here. I think that is so cool that they did that, you know? Like the various like, accessories you can like, attach to his body. I think that's like just so wonderful, you know, that you can customize your figure like that, you know? So I will always keep all my weapons on Dutch, you know? <laughs> now what I'll do is talk about like the articulation of this Dutch figure. So as you can see, here's Dutch. You can lift his arms up. Now mine's kind of stiff in mine, so I'm gonna be kind of careful with it. I didn't really loosen it too much, so like the hair dryer. But as you can see, you can stand him like that. I mean, like his arms can be lifted out like that. They can bend and stuff. You can turn the hands as well. His legs can bend too, for one. People wondering about that. You can actually bend like his legs, like that, like knees and stuff. Both knees can be bent. You also can put him in a split, <laughs> the infamous split. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. His feet can be turned too, as you can see, you can turn them. They even had like a tilt, I think that's what they call like a tilt in it, where you can like turn them like that, that twist. And like this foot was kind of stiff, you know, but it can turn too as well. His waist can be turned, like kind of not all the way, you know. You can kind of bend them, yeah, you can bend them like that. His head can be turned too as well. Now another thing I noticed about this figure was like the actual like these two grenades. I was wondering at one point I was kinda of worried, you know, I didn't know if they actually come off when like, I saw like a video where a person was actually missing one of their like grenades, like on Dutch's chest. So I was thinking that maybe they come off because when you look at them, it does like they're they are attached to him, you know, like you can pull them off, you know. But I'm not gonna really disturb it just in case it like they'll break, you know. But I'm aware that these do come off. I even see that it's like a hole that like you can pull these off, you know. Now another thing too about this figure, the detail on it is actually superb, you know, it does look how like uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger looked at that Dutch in the film, you know, like the camo he has on his face, he even has like his cigar in his mouth, I think that's cool, 
And kind of interesting the neck of the maker where you can actually move it, you know, it's actually just like implanted in his mouth, you know, you can't take that out. Now, they did an ultimate version of this figure, they probably gave like more heads, you know, so I'm gonna be surprised. I like the detail, like in the shirt, it looks like wrinkled and stuff, as you can see, like underneath, like this vest. You also see the shirt underneath, you know, under his other shirt, you know, which I think is cool. The, the, the camo pants too as well, they are awesome. I like the holsters, like on a Dutch, you know. I think those are good. Now one of the things too, like here's like the, the actual likeness of Arnold Schwarzenegger in the face. Now it, it does look a, a like him, you know, but I think like the eyes, cause I've heard other people say it too, they could have probably done those better. But from the side, that really does look like Arnold Schwarzenegger, you know, from these kind of angles right here. That looks exactly like how Honest Snake does look, you know. So I think Neko did an excellent job on that kind of stuff, you know. When it's like from you looking at it from that kind of view, that looks exactly like how Honest Snake does look, you know. And from those kind of angles, that looks exactly like him, I think. And even like it in the face, too, you know, but I guess like his eyes probably could have been like a little better, you know. His hair looks good, too, as well, the detail on it, you know. I like how also like on this glove, if you look closely, you can actually see like his watch right there too as well. So I think that's kind of cool. And the hands can be turned too. If you look closer, you can actually see like the veins on Arnold's like, well, Dutch's wrist, which I think is kind of cool. Plus I like how muscular like his back is too as well. I think that's cool. That's why I would like to get another one of these like Dutch figures, especially the ones where you I don't know it's like kind of like shirtless or whatever, just to get like a better look at the uh, the muscularity of the figure itself. You know, I'm kind of curious about that, like how good NECA did with that, you know. Okay, so there's my NECA 30th anniversary Predator Jungle Extraction Dutch figure. I would definitely recommend this for like fans of like the Dutch character or like Arnold Schwarzenegger in general or just a fan of Predator, you know, because here's my movie like I showed before and this is like one of my all time favorite films. This is easily like one of my top 10 favorite films. And I guess you could say probably third favorite Arnold Schwarzenegger film, you know, after the first two Terminators. Yeah, and another thing too, I even remember seeing this film like in the theaters too, like back when it was released, like in 1987. My parents actually took me to see this at the, at the theaters when I was a kid. Like the first Predator movie, I remember that as well. I was actually eight years old. I wasn't even nine yet. I had turned nine that year. Kind of the next year, I actually turned ten. So I was, I think, still eight, only eight years old when I saw this in the theaters. Right. Yeah, I would definitely recommend this figure, you know. It has like 20 points of articulation. It has a cool accessories that you actually can put on Dutch too as well and I definitely want to get more of these I definitely want a Predator like the uh, the uh, Ultimate Jungle Hunter I want to get that one like NECA I think restocks it if I'm not mistaken I want to pick that one up you know as well so I can have like a Predator figure you know but I would like to get more of these Dutch figures because I really would prefer like one that's like muscular one where Arnold you know doesn't have like on this like you know his shirt he's actually basically like open I want one like that you know I'm just curious about like the muscularity of the figure itself, you know, how, how Necker would do that, you know, how the detail of it, you know. But I would definitely recommend this figure, you know. So, yeah, please leave a comment and uh, subscribe too, as well.